the sentencing hearing of the man dubbed the Mole Mole Monster and his accomplices has been adjourned until tomorrow. And the legal teams have wrapped up their arguments in mitigation and aggravation of sentencing. Earlier, Johan Kortz's lawyer appealed for leniency for his clients, and that's because of his mental state. Well, he was arguing that his client is a manic depressive whose love for his ex-wife, Ina Bonnet, actually, actually nearly drove him uh, to suicide. Yesterday, Kortz and one of his accomplices, Andre Satoli, uh, were convicted of the murder of Bonnet's son, Conrad. At the same time, the two men and accomplices, Peter Mokhlake and Selom Paka were all convicted of kidnapping and four charges relating to the gang rape and also the torture of Burnett. So the men were also found guilty of assault with intent to do grievous bodily harm. Well, Kotsa told journalists after the hearing today that he wanted to make a statement tomorrow. Whether the judge will permit this or not is debatable. Ik wil net voor jullie zeggen dat ik zo graag een paar goedjes wil zeggen, maar ik wil die sensatie van maken. Morgen direct naar die vonnis. Real niet dan, dat is het op een basis doen. Ik zal toch zeker iets wil zeggen. Maar dit zal objectief is. Ik heb nog nooit sensatie gezoekt niet. Well, Ina Burnett uh, was in court very briefly today, though, as our reporter Karen Morn told us earlier. Uh, she witnessed this exchange between reporters and Kotsa. Towards the last stages of this hearing, she appeared, and we actually have visuals of her standing in the corner of the courtroom, listening to her husband, Johan Kortzer, tell the media that he wanted the chance to talk to us about what he, he says happened on that day, that he was not a sensational man, and he didn't want his utterances to be sensationalized. But he really, according to himself, wants the chance tomorrow, after the sentencing has passed, to have his word on this case. Of course, Ina Bonnet standing, listening to this, but leaving court shortly thereafter, after, of course, her husband making those remarks. We know that she is still incredibly anxious about the sentence. She doesn't want the prospect of Johan Kotze ever being outside of a prison wall um, in her lifetime. And I think she will be hoping, as will many of the people affected by Johan Kotze, that he does get a life term in prison. News that moves. ENCA.com.